Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now we've already looked at include and require, but what about require once? Now require once looks like this. It works exactly the same one as in uh, it works exactly the same way, sorry, as require and include on their own. Uh, you can also use include once as well. Now, but why would you want to to use this? I mean, presumably if I was to say require my header.inc.php file, which I've got up here, which just has some HTML data in, and I was to go and refresh the page, you can see that it just says Alex's page. So we've, we've included this, we've required this header in. There's not really any difference in output when we do require once. It's exactly the same thing. It produces exactly the same result. But there's one difference. If you use require once throughout your page, it will check to see if this file has previously been required, and if so, won't require it. So let's have a go at now requiring, and just requiring, not requiring once, header.inc.php in here. So let's press F5. Now you can see that it's required um, or included, if you like, the file um, twice. Now bear in mind that throughout this whole process we can use the include once as well as the include. So require once header.inc.php and require header.inc.php. So now what this has done is it's required header.inc.php um, once, but then it's required it again without using the once. So let's try and swap these around and see what result we get out. Okay, so you can see that what's happened is we've already required or included, if you like, the header.inc.php. So now what this um, what this uh, statement will do, if you like, it will check to see if the header.inc.php has already been included, and it will um, it will include it if 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 it hasn't been included, and if not, then it won't. And uh, require once is similar to doing something like this if defined and then you choose header.inc.php within this function or this uh, language construct if defined then require header.inc.php so what I've just wrote written here is exactly the same as the require once so if we refresh now we can see that we don't have um, a uh, we don't have uh, another version of it required in here however if I was to swap them around again so vice versa to what I already did um, a moment ago and swap them back around um, and I click refresh you see oh no that two aren't two aren't included so um, this would be now being if not defined when we refresh you can see that two of them come up so forget this for now that was just an example but when we use the require once we just ensure that the same file isn't required um, twice now why might we want to do this um, bear in mind the whole time you can use the include once there's just different ways to handle the errors include will include the file if it doesn't exist um, it will continue with the rest of the page content require will stop the page so include and require once why might we want to require them uh, use them sorry so if we've got a large say core file where we're keeping variables different functions um, connecting to our database just things like that and we then go to require the file twice we're significantly slower slowing down the uh, execution of the page and the reason for this is we're requiring something twice or including something twice without using this underscore once means that it will actually require it twice so you'll be um, processing um, an include page more than once so that's the main reason that you would use it some people have said that the require and include once um, language constructs will actually slow down a page anyway however nowadays with um, with processing time it won't actually make much difference so you're much better off using this include underscore once or require underscore once to save the speed of your page for later on just in case you do happen to include or require something more than once